All right, I've chosen immediate goals. Also, I made poisoned barbed wire. Also, I seem to have a problem here with the game's audio. One moment. All fixed. Okay, so... We have poisoned barbed wire, the nastiest barbed wire I'm currently capable of making. So, I'm gonna go ahead... I wanna keep going up this route, but... Instead, we're gonna grab the tank ship and the deep sea platform. But that's not what we're working on just now. So I've got my electric boilers here. So, it can't possibly consumption 6 megawatts, efficiency 6%. Okay, there we go. Doesn't give me an efficiency. Gives me a pollution value of 2, so it's not as pollutey. 1.2 megawatts, that's... <clears throat> More efficient than the coal? But wait a minute, what's that? Wow, that's actually an enormous amount. Uh, just one of these would just just one of these would be using almost ten percent of my total energy production by itself. How much steam does it actually output? It's also larger. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. Ah. Uh, all right. I don't know if I want this. But I would like to get my coal out of this place. If I could get everything to not use coal except my power supply, I'd be able to have all my coal in one place. But that might be a bit much to ask for. Oh. I don't know about this one. I might have to reinforce my power system. Okay. Well, are you doing anything? Yes, you are. Okay. Functional. I don't know that this is as fast. It's a lot of power, but I can just kind of walk this away. <clears throat> Is that meeting our needs? Are we finally achieving an, e achieving an equilibrium? I don't know, it's more than meeting our needs. I guess it has more or less, it, it works. It works. I'll scoop that up later. Actually, I'll scoop that up now. Hold on. I'm going to slip over here to my ship. So we've got several things I'm going to do. This isn't even the big exciting thing yet. Hold up. Hold that. Sure, why not? I'm going to go grab my barbed wire. And we have some experiments I've wanted to do for a long time. We're going to increase our defenses. I'm not going to put the shotguns in yet. And the barbed wire is going to kind of hang back away from the enemy where it can come into play if things ever get desperate. I just want to make it so that if I'm, like, out at sea somewhere exploring and shit goes down back at home, like, really goes down, that uh, it won't fall in my absence. This will be like a last emergency layer here. 
All right, I'd like all of my assorted things back, please. Great, it's a total mess. Eh, don't need that much of any one thing here. Oops. Okay, let me see. Rocks, steel, very important. Alright, uh, these are great. I love these, and we're going to play a lot with them, but not yet. Mm, some of this, some of that. Don't need that much of that. Oh, by the way, I didn't make these. I found I found my source of solder. So I can postpone the trouble of making solder a little bit longer. When I get around to it, I'll probably end up making a crap ton. Oh, is that everything? Should I gather more iron? I think I have most of it with me. How long is this going to hold out? The two on the right side could use a refill. The two on the left side, though, haven't been tapped. So it'll hold for a while. This thing is so cool. <laughs> it just is. It's just cool, okay? I'm glad to be able to move on water. This should be part of the base game. There should be wooden rowboats. There should be more stuff out in the sea to, to interact with. All right. Uh, also, I hate wasting the mineral water, but I tried looking it up, and I could not find anything to use the mineralized water. Here, let me try. Like, literally. I can create it with crushed stone and water, or we can get it out of the one thing, but I, I literally have... I have no use for, for mineralized water. There's nothing I can do with it. And it's sad because I know I once played with something where mineralized water was used to grow algae, which you could then make plastics and things out of somehow. But I don't have that. I don't know if it was a Bob's or an Angel's or what it was, but whatever it is, I don't have. Always glad to have more landfills. Okay, would like to make lights, would like to make many things, but what we're going to do, I don't want to move these lines. There's just no convenient way to do this. So these have 400, this only has 100. Actually, that's a pretty good argument to keep this here. Okay. What I'm going to do... Oh, don't give me that crap. Hold on. God, I want a larger inventory. Here, here you go. Okay. Can't hold a wooden fence. So we're going to repair the fence. We're going to stick barbed wire in. And then we're going to do something cool behind this to add another layer of defense. Not the shotguns, though. Not yet. I'll hold those back for now. Okay. Nasty. Nasty poisoned barbed wire. If they ever get back this far. Wish I could just tell it to replace over the damaged stuff. Can't, can't, oh, oh I can reach. Fine. A repair kit. Oh, hell. I'll just do it. Actually, it repairs super easy. It's not actually that expensive. I consider the rare repair kit more valuable than the wood, but but you know what? It only used up like one kit. It's fine. And now the spot that they keep attacking is extra bolstered. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly you can see these things pointing in different directions, the ones that have been active. So... Yeah. 
So the barbed wire here, it's weird. It seems to have an attack speed, which is, is strange. And it's a, it, it seems like it does a massive number of attacks per second and doing f seven physical and seven poison. If I understand it right, which makes sense. If something's adjacent to it, then that thing is probably attacking the wall. And it'll get the crap stabbed out of it. It makes sense to me. All right, we put a new Dalek here. We give him his, his darts. Pop the wall back in. I can squeak through these, but not a wall and not these guys. All right, so that's a little added layer of nastiness. It's slightly less durable than the wooden fence, but the poison and all. Yeah, I think, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's every little bit helps. But now let's get into the interesting stuff. So all game, I've been looking at one of my mods. And aside from very briefly toying with a few clockwork rifle bots, I haven't really made anything with it. So these only have 40 hit points, and so, I don't know that they're that good. These have 120. They have armor and a submachine gun. They're still stupidly fragile. A freaking rocket launcher. And the flamethrower ones. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and build battle droids. So it says they'll come out of a blue one, but it also says it needs four different materials. So I don't know how that's going to work. But we're going to produce them right quick. I want to build a larger science thing, more complex, able to research more things. I should probably just start producing military science packs somewhere. Here. Just keep making shit. Don't stop. Okay. Now. Okay, yeah. I thought you could only combine three things, but here it can combine four into a battle droid, so okay. So I need basic electronic boards. Hmm. Put these down just to have them down. So, submachine guns, light armor. Well, let's see. Light armor is easy enough. I'm actually going to tell you instead to make the light armor first. I'll make some too. Basic electronic boards. Don't I have those just sitting around over here? These are basic circuit boards. What I want is one step beyond. How many do we have now? Eleven? How many are we making? Let's make 20. 20 seems good. Okay, submachine gun time. Hmm. All right, I'll make the submachine guns. All right, what else did we need? Steel. I have the steel. We got that. All right, right, back to the basic electronic board. What was that requiring? Take the 
basic. Oh, solder. I don't have much of that. I can make it. I can make it. You only need one each. Okay, fine. Wait. You acquire 15. Uh-oh. Hmm. I'm going to end up using up all my solder. Let's grab some resin. We'll have this together. We'll deploy an army of robotic henchmen and laugh maniacally. All right, basic electronic components. I have an abundance of that. Hold up. My emergency. There's no way this should ever, ever, ever see battle. If this sees battle, I'm already screwed. <laughs> Basically. But why not? Maybe something will find some weird ass way into my base that I don't expect. Like I'm I'm really wouldn't be surprised if the aliens had some nasty weird ass trick up their sleeve. Okay. Deposit this, deposit that. Give me Maybe not that many. Alright. And I'm just going to steal basic circuit boards out of my research stuff. And the tank ship is ready! We're going to need to start making motors for you. Boiler, steam engine, pump jacks. Oh my gosh, it takes a lot, but it'll be worth it. 250. Ooh. Anyway, we'll get to the tanker ship. We'll get there. I'll just take 75 of this. More. Okay. I can walk through barbed wire. That's that's interesting. I pick this crap back up. I think we're just about ready. Okay, let me see. I can give you that. I can give you that. I can give you those. I just need 10 more of those. I'll get to them. How many of these do I need to make 20? I need 300 of them. Well, I won't be making 20. We'll start with 10. Hmm. All right, I need to grab something. Oh, wait, no, each time I make it, I get a whole bunch. Oh, okay, no, maybe we can make 20. All right, I need one more important tool. The thing that deploys them. I kind of want to do armies of these things later and attack with them. They're actually not that expensive, but they are a little... I mean, they, they are expensive, but not that expensive. It's interesting building a whole bunch of armor, too. It's like, that's not something you'd normally ever do. Okay, let me see. Things I'm not using. What are these doing lying around? Oh, wait, no. Ah, that, I'm sorry. I was looking at it backwards, that's why. Okay. It's not here. It's not here. And it's not here. Oh, wait, there's more. Wait, there's more! I would love to have those. There's my target. Rifle bot. Okay. Now, we probably have enough solder to do this. Probably. All right. 
I need 10 more of these. Go, 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 go. Okay, you've done enough. All right. Let's plop down the droid assembler. Now, I noticed there was a droid patrol post. I might want to make a couple of these. There's also more than one kind of droid deployment building. There's an activity module and a settings module, presumably for managing your vast legions of doom. But there's also a guard station. Now, it has the same requirements as an assembler. It's, it seems to be identical in all ways, except except they stay close to the station, act as guards, which seem to be their behavior out of the regular droid assembler. So I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. I don't think I have enough electronic components. Hmm. More of this. Sure, I'll pick it up. Keep making it. I need as much of that as possible. All right. So these are the four I'm currently capable of making. The flame block bot's the longest. It's the strongest looking. Two. seems good. Alright, I really should put lights along this wall too, but nah, we'll get to those later. Alright, and that's the last of the components I had on hand, that's okay. I think you're ready to begin. Okay, do it. Battle droids. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. It's all coming together. All right. It even sounds vaguely threatening. Just the sounds coming out of it as it goes. Deep sea oil extraction is coming along. Okay, I need to make more of these boards. And for that, I will need... Oh dear, are these all the electronic components left that I have? Because I am burning a lot of them. Take more. Just to be sure. Mm. My poor car with its machine gun. I'm never going to let it anywhere near battle. <laughs> Not in this world. Maybe if I wrapped it in... Why can't I wrap it in poison barbed wire? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Alright. Five battle droids. Holy crap, I don't need to deploy them. What is the purpose of you? I can just drop them. Mid-game unit. Well, I'm going to deploy you through the proper channels. And you. I don't know what you guys' range is, but if shit ever hits the fan and things get desperate while I'm away, there will be a whole platoon of battle droids backing up the uh, sniper turrets with submachine guns and a rifle, I guess. Got the derpy one with the, the clockwork rifle bot. And... Ideally, 
Now, ideally, there'll be 20 of them. What a mess out there. I should probably take a moment to gather all the pink stuff. Waste not, want not, and all that. Hmm. All right, all right, fine, I'll do it. I hate waste. I don't know if items ever despawn in this game, but... It's a good question. Do they? They can't stay forever. Memory is not infinite. They must despawn, like, according to the coordinates of all of them on this big old game map. Seems awful much. These rocks seem to be the ones who are losing the war. There. Put it out of its misery. Poor thing. Okay. Followed by... Where is it? Where are you, Bar... Oh, wait. I didn't take the barbed wire up. Because I could walk through it, of course. Mm. All right. Do you feel the greater safety of these derpy things wandering all over the place? Aren't you guys supposed to hang with those? Aren't you like a squad or something? Oh, wow, they move fast. Do you see how fast they can move? I didn't realize that they could move at any decent speed. I should probably build the patrol posts. I don't know. Their behavior is very odd. Still, there are a lot of them, and they've got machine guns. And they don't use... A I don't have to put ammunition in them like turrets. Oh, weird. Probably because their life expectancy isn't long enough to worry about ammo. It's probably factored into their cost. Can I get this but in lasers? Oh my gosh, they are... Not going to stay put. I'm going to have to... I need a lot more of those. But you know what else I need? Okay, hold on. Where's the patrol posts? Let's make two patrol posts. They're all gone. Seriously, where did they go? They're patrolling my base for me. I mean, that's kind of cool. It actually, I kind of like the idea of them patrolling everywhere. Except they'll probably get in the way, but you know. If enemies could attack from any direction, man, this would be something you'd want a lot of. But as it stands, I'm going to try the posts. Okay. Here. Oh. Wait, so they actually... Huh. Okay. Alright, you know what? This is the this is the bulk of where trouble would happen. Droid patrol post. That has a thousand hit points. How do... Guys, go to the patrol posts. <laughs> How does this work? Okay. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand the controls a little. These guys don't want to move. These guys do. 
Maybe I don't understand how to command them. Well, you know what? This is okay. We've got one group here. All right. And we've got one group patrolling, and I guess that's okay. I guess. I don't know how to command them. Something to figure out later. Anyway, we've got battle droids now. Defending our base. Okay, it is time to build Deep Sea Oil Platform. The one thing that I'm going to need a lot of to pull this off is... Not you! Oh, fuck. You. I saw blue at the bottom, and I was like, ah, there! I'm just like, no. All right. I'm going to need a whole bunch of iron. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make some engines again quickly, and I'll need 50 of them for the tanker. What else will I need? Anything else different about you? No, it's the same stuff, except some storage tanks are involved. All right, so we're going to make ourselves an oil tanker. Okay. That means good old-fashioned engines. Ah. Uh, or somewhere. There. Okay. Steel. And I need pipes and... Oh, wait. Did I say you? No. No, give me that back. Okay. You're the pipe maker. Make the pipes. You're the, uh... Clock King. No, not a steel gear rear. A regular iron gear wheel. You don't want to spend good steel on this. It just just wouldn't work. It's just not done. All right. Let's start using the good ones. Okay, I need more steel, right? Wait, how much steel per engine? One? Oh, no, 50 is fine. Oops. Perfect. What? I thought I told you to make gears. What is this? It's fine. I don't I don't mind having extra pipes. Extra pipes are good. Extra pipes are fine. All right, so that's going to make 50 of those. I have half a mind to put the shotgun turrets someplace back here where they can just be like, well, maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe another couple layers of barbed wire, I don't know. Hmm. Ever want to just wander off and start a new base in another location and come back later? Just wander away the hell with a base that could completely take care of itself. Wouldn't that just be cool? Or am I completely insane? Hmm. Well, no matter. Deep sea oil extraction is largely complete. Well, halfway complete. What's going on? There we go. Motors are on the way. Oh, a two for... Oh, wait, no. There's the problem. It just didn't want to keep making those. 
That's fine. I don't mind having tons of iron gears and stuff lying around. Pipes, pipes, where are my pipes? There are my pipes. There. So we should be next time. Yeah. I really would like to see these guys in action. Their guns should be exactly equivalent to mine, I think. So, you know. Should be the equivalent of like 20 of me or however many I actually ended up with of me shooting at the enemy wall behind all the walls and turrets and things so they shouldn't be the first things hit they should be the last things the enemy would mess with alright the engines they're multiplying how's our power needs do you guys need recharging like the flying bots do say so, but mm. doesn't seem that way. Oh, they don't seem to play by quite the same rules. Whatever, there's a handful of them. I should be free to go off and do as I please now. Let's have a peek over here. Heh, <laughs> as sulfur comes in, more of that's made. That's up to 136. I guess I like my new electric boilers. Okay. These are slowly filling up. I have a big warehouse to store it in. Yeah. Things are good all around. Hmm. And I have territory to expand to. So, this should finish researching. I'll have my engines. And... I feel more confident in my defenses now. Maybe I shouldn't. It's just a layer of poisoned barbed wire and some bots, but... I feel a little more confident for some reason having those. So... I'm going to try to expand and mine this. I'll try to set up a mine there. I've got lots of mud for expanding land masses. My idea is kind of I'm going to have well, eventually when I get the better refining methods I'm going to strip out all of this or processing blast furnace, induction furnace, the sorters, all of this is going to go. Instead, it's going to go hydro, chemical, thermal, and just the ore. Uh, I'll put ore sorters at the very end, and it'll just sort everything out. And that'll be all this island does, is steer tight just processing the ore into into its components and then they'll go I'll have the same for each type eventually when I can afford to do it all they just keep fighting one for each type each which one should have its own island then we'll have pro uh, actual centers for all the smelting which will involve Blast furnaces, induction furnaces, casting machines, ore processing machines, whatever else uh, for each type of resulting material. Tin, silicon, cobalt, zinc, bauxite, uranium, just from one thing. Bauxite should be aluminum. Aluminum, yeah. That's the idea. We'll see if it actually works out that way. Hmm. Hmm. We'll 
we'll see if it actually works out that way for now. Did I use too much steel? No, I didn't. Tank ship. An inbound deep sea oil extraction. 150 steel plate. That's a lot of stuff. 75 basic electronic boards. Can I even do that? I'm going to prepare. Strap it off. Pump jack. Wait, do I even know how to make a pump jack? It's a regular steam engine. I only have the V2s right now. Pump jack. Oh, and I'll need pipes. Oh, wait, I have pipes. Pump jack. I don't think I know how to build that yet. Oh, well, this is super quick and easy. Anyway, let me go gather steel. I really would like to set up this same kind of setup for Steerotite on that island over there. Hmm. But oil. Oil leads to a lot of things. Most notably flamethrowers, but also a lot of other important things that I need. And I've decided that's the direction to go. Oh, it's so nice having an unending source of iron production. And by unending, I mean it'll last only as long as I have stereotype, which they're using fairly quickly. Actually. Actually, they're using it frighteningly quickly. But I have supplies. I have reserves yet. This whole place might get shifted into some other form. Like Jivalite. Or something. There, something like that. Anyway, until then, until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. Bye.